Stewart. I teach 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade middle school history. So the 6th grade currently is working on a board game and what they're doing is taking all the information we've learned so far since August. We've studied the age of exploration through early colonization and what they're doing is taking all of that information and um, putting it in the format of a board game. They have to do about five categories with terms, important events, places, um, religion, just everything that we've focused on so far. Um, well, we decided to do alternative assessments in the middle school, just at the fifth and sixth grade level, because they're new to the middle school. They're in their transitional year right now and at the intermediate level. And we just felt like a real exam would be a little too much for them starting off right now. And an alternative assessment is a great way to assess what they have learned throughout the semester, um, but showing us what they've learned in the form of a project. And so it gives students more of an opportunity to get more involved um, actively, work on something where it's more hands-on and not just strictly pen and paper. Um, it also gives kids who are not great test takers a chance to show us what they can really do in terms of a project. Um, it allows kids also to work collaboratively with their peers. Um, they get a chance to delegate. It gives them a chance to be um, an active learner. And the theme is uh, Magellan's journey around the world. My name is Reeves Poe and I teach middle school math. My name is Bobby Hemingway and I teach middle school science. I guess the purpose of our exam was to show that our students that math and science, um, you really can't do one without the other. And in math this year we studied range, median, mean, and graphing. And we just wanted to incorporate both subjects together. Right, and then for the science end, um, it was important for the kids to be able to see where this, where that actual data comes from. So what they did was they collected, um, they collected data by measuring their pulse rates, and then from that we were able to find um, average data. We were able um, to take a look at the range for the class, um, and even um, take a look at what that range looks like in terms of the scatter plot graph. Um, the benefit to having an alternative um, type assessment with, with younger, with younger age um, middle school students is that we're able to actually have a more authentic form of assessment where the students are actually applying what they know um, as opposed to regurgitating back things that, um, that we already, already know that they know.